What is up guys? Welcome back to Joe's Tech. Today we're going to take my old SSD and see if we can make it look a little less terrible. Alright guys, so if you haven't been following along, uh, I've been getting ready to do a move over of all my old hardware to this new case. And so in prepping for that, I've kind of been doing some cable sleeving and, uh, you know, doing some highlights on this case and some other videos that, uh, you know, kind of like ramping up to get ready for this move. And so uh, I thought the next uh, thing I'd like to get ready is my SSDs. So in my old build, I actually have two different SSDs. I think one's an old PNY and one is an Intel uh, 5, 530. And so uh, neither one of them obviously match. And so I thought maybe what I could do is I could use some vinyl wrap and I could just, uh, you know, wrap those guys and make them look fancy or less, you know, terrible or whatever. So uh, initially when I bought these online, I bought a brushed aluminum which was supposed to match this case and clearly it doesn't if i'd have gotten the silver edition it probably would have worked out better but that obviously is uh you know not going to work so that's out so i think the next best bet is this white carbon fiber not sure if you guys can see that in the video but uh, i think it'll kind of tie in well with the rest of the build so this is probably the uh, vinyl wrap that i'm going to go with uh so that being said let's get into it it, sh it shouldn't be very exciting but uh you know just in case anybody wondered uh, how that would work out i guess we'll try it out and see so as you can see, I'm using just an old 60 gig uh, 330 series SSD from Intel. Um, this was just my external hard drive um, SSD. So I figured I would just use this for the video because it's not really anything my computer needs to run. So one thing I was able to figure out uh, since I got to cheat and do this once before is that you do end up with a little bit of excess here and you can actually just use like a sharp knife and you can just shave it off gently by working the edges. Just make sure you don't like gouge into the, the drive case because then you'll just have a bunch of gouge marks. But if you just kind of slowly work the edge, it'll trim off all this excess. I'm not sure if you guys are able to see it from your view, but the label does actually show through a little bit, so I would probably recommend doing a second layer of vinyl wrap on top of this, and uh, that should be enough to keep the text from being able to show through. The best part about this mod has got to be the price. Uh, obviously in this case I was hoping to keep the cost of this little migration project I have going on down, um, but uh, inevitably I just continue to buy more and more stuff. But if you're somebody out there that is looking to just add a little bit of contrast, a little bit of color to your, your build, uh, this is definitely a good buy. I want to say it's like 6 or $8 for a roll of the, uh, the vinyl wrap. Um, the best part is, you know, if you wrap your hard drives only a couple times, uh, you're probably still going to have a ton of leftover material, which will leave you enough to maybe do some other components in your case, or maybe even part of your case, depending on what kind of case you have. Um, but I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below. If you guys are enjoying these videos, hopefully they're, they're helpful for you. Uh, hopefully I'm able to help somebody out there. Don't forget to leave me a like on the way out, thumbs up, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and if you have any questions, feedback, concerns, any of it, feel free to leave a comment below. Obviously, if you're not subscribing yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, helps the growth of the channel and obviously uh, all three of those things kind of let me know how I'm doing. Um, and again, hopefully uh, you guys are enjoying the content. So until next time guys, this has been Joe's Tech.
I'll see you.